I gotta introduce you to this next cat, and all he put down was his name is Austin. But I'll tell you what, he is fabulous, and if he makes his way to the stage, we gonna put him on, and y'all gonna show him some love. And I love the fact that we got so many more people in here because we have more people in here that I've seen for film screenings, more people that I've seen in here for the College Bowl, which if you guys don't know about it, it just happened, it went down. Next year, check it out, College Bowl Trivia Competition is coming down, teams of four, we pop it off. And now we got Austin on the stage, y'all give it up. I'm gonna let him get the mic and let it go on. Starkey Blythe Jr., who's got the greatest name ever. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this is called, I Once Took a Shower with Dan Rather. <laughs> I once took a shower with Dan Rather. He was wearing thin nylon boxers, pale blue, drip dry, see-through. The kind they made right after World War II when people first started going to Europe, taking soap packets with them, the American notion of clean what's next to God. Imagine Dan rinsing out his drawers in a hotel room, hanging them where? While the interview of a lifetime languished, drip, drip, how like words the water falling without sound. He was not Dan rather than a fill-in so Walter Cronkite could be off Saturday nights. But he thought he was Dan rather, his passport tallied. We were stuck in the Azores, hydrangea-drenched islands, pink roses, misty ocean. A paradise anyone would die to escape. Army barracks left from when planes couldn't make it on one tank. We were following Nixon, who wasn't. A trip where nothing happened. News he wanted to keep from news rising back home, his lengthening five o'clock shadow. How cool these islands were compared to deserts we'd been to. Yemen, Samen, Hemen, where Nixon's makeup ran like caramel. And I thought July, home, was Antarctica. Rather said hello, the way he'd say hello to a TV audience, whose sound he knew would be dubbed later. Stripped the shorts, had they been washed? <laughs> Certainly worn. Smiled, he would close his broadcast years later saying, take courage. Did I look? What did you see? Uh, nothing much, your average three-legged man, a loping stool. Later, famous, the network would argue whether he should wear a sweater. Let him. Yeah. Thank you, Austin. That was very cool, very cool. 